So last year, one of my most watched videos was a winch maintenance video where I did some maintenance on the cockpit winches. And I didn't really go into a lot of detail on that, uh, but it was the most watched video. So what I'm gonna do now is I have two more winches in the cabin, on the cabin top for the halyards and for the reefs that I'm going to do some maintenance on. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit more in depth so instead of speeding through everything, I'll do it in regular time. But these are both Lumar uh, 16 winches, I believe. And they are self-tailing winches. I'll just do this one for the video. But I wanna take it apart, clean it up, and grease it up. Okay, so here's the winch. This winch is pretty easy to take apart because it just has some uh, four Phillips head screws in the top. Sometimes winches will have a retaining clip on the top and it's a little harder to get that off and to remove everything. But um, this one has screws. This is a Lumar 16 self-tailing winch, so it has this extra part on it here. So I'm just gonna remove these four screws. Now normally what I would do is I, I have a box it has a hole in the bottom, and I'd take the box and put it over top of that to keep from losing parts. But in this case, I, uh, I'm not really worried about parts falling overboard because this is on the cabin top. So if anything falls, it's gonna stay in the cabin or get stuck in the Dodger somewhere. So this comes off. And then we've got a little plastic piece that comes off. These two pieces here slide into a little groove there. So I'm gonna take those off. They come off. This piece here pops off like that. And then you got another set of uh, screws here. So I'm gonna take those out. And there's this piece here. And this piece, I've had this piece break before on another winch. So these are all plastic pieces so far. Uh, so um, I have an extra one of these for, for the larger winch. Then this piece comes off. That's the next part on there. And on this winch, is a little different than the big winch. On this one, you can see the paws uh, right here as we go around. It's got three. The big winch had two on the inside, but this one has three of these little paws and you can see what happens as we um, turn, they get locked into there, the ratchet the ratchet effect. There's one of them that's not moving. So that one, as we go by, it's not clicking. So it's probably stuck with grease or something is in there. It's causing it not to move. So it's a good thing we took that apart. So once um, that's done, I'm gonna take these off. I wanna be careful once we clear this, because I'm not sure if these are gonna pop out or not. So they don't pop out, but um, we'll, I'll show you how these come out in a minute. But then this piece comes off. Inside here are two sets of uh, roller bearings in there. So those will come out. Uh, there's a little plastic disc on there. And then there's the first set of bearings there. This, this winch actually looks like it's in fairly decent shape. Not a lot of dirt, but it stays under the Dodger all the time, so. And there's another set of bearings. And then I think that's everything inside here that comes out except for the paws that come out of the top there. And then this part here, usually this thing is gonna come out. So, um, it usually comes out because this once this gear I think here comes out. So this little pin here is gonna come up. And then inside there is a little gear, and that one's gonna come out. And then there's another gear in here that's connected to this. So it feels like it has another paw inside there. So I'm not sure how that comes out yet, but there's something that holds it in. And usually it's the it's this thing in the groove, but it doesn't. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
So that's going to come out. And I'm going to be careful because I feel like there's another paw in there. Yeah, there's two more in there. So those two right there. So this one has a lot more uh, ratchet stuff going on there than the last one I did. And then this gear right here should slide out now. And down here on the bottom, it's pretty dirty. So when these go back in, they can really can only go. Everything can only go really go back together one way. So, um, but you can see this has to go down with that side facing down. And then it looks like I have everything out of there. Now I'll just have to take all of this, clean all this up, and then clean all the parts up. And I'm using WD-40 right now just to clean it up because that's what I have on hand. But you could probably use any type of degreaser or something like that to get all this off there. And I'm going to have to break out my brushes and get the rest of this. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is take out these uh, paws here, and there are three of them. Two of them look like they're uh, sticking. This one does not. It doesn't even feel like the spring is is in there. So, uh, only thing, they're really easy to pop out. You just slide them right straight out. And then there's going to be a spring in there. Just make sure you keep your finger in there so it comes out and doesn't uh, fly all over the place. But uh, it's a little tiny spring. Looks like that. So I'm going to take both of these out. And then there's that one in the spring right there. And this one here is not moving at all. It has a spring in there, but it looks like the spring is broken. I have a, a, a maintenance kit. I might have another spring in there for this. So I'm going to finish cleaning all these parts up. And then the next paws that come out, and these look like the same size as the other ones, but I'm going to keep them separate e either way. Uh, but the same thing, you just, they just kind of slide. Okay, to get these out of here, what I had to do is right inside here, I'm not sure if you can see it, is, is where the spring sits into a groove. And basically, just took this little pick and... Um, there's enough room for it to get in there, slide up, and pop the um, pop that little thing out of the little channel. I just did it here a second ago, and now it's not going to let me do it again. Slide it up a little bit, and then pop it out of there, just like that. He says. It's, now it's being stubborn. But uh, you just got to get that out of that out of the little recess that it's in. And I just did it a second ago on the first try. And then I put it back in for the video. Go figure. Okay, I managed to get both of those out of there. It took, of course, 15 minutes. The first time I popped them out pretty easily, but um, when I, I put one back in just to video it, but there's that little groove right there that one of the spring legs is trapped in. You have to lift it up out of there. Other ways the same. So the little springs, they look like that. And then one leg is inside that little groove. The other leg is inside this little groove here. So it looks like all of these are the same. Uh, so it looks like the one I'm missing, this one here is the broken one. So you can see it's got a broken leg. So I'll have to check my spare parts and see if I have another one of these in there or maybe I can, yeah, no I can't, that's all the way broken. So that's got a broken um, spring. So let's see if I can replace that. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean all these parts up and get all the grease and everything off there and then grease everything back up and put it back together. Okay, so this is gonna go back together. Um, I was able to find some more of these uh, little springs and uh, they're in my pack and apparently it's Lumar part number 12607. And I had a whole pack of 10 of them, so I'm in good shape. And the way these things go back in is pretty simple. They just go in there like that. And then this thing goes back in there like, sort of like that. So the spring just sits in the groove. And 
they just slide right in there. Trust me, they do. There we go. So, uh, they go in there like that. Now as far as grease goes, you'll want to check the manual for whatever winch you have, but in general, you don't want to put grease on these parts because they're really small and grease will gunk them up. So what they recommend usually is something like a really light oil, like sewing machine oil. I have sewing machine oil that I put in the last ones, but I didn't bring it with me today. So I'm just going to throw some WD-40 in there once I get them all together. And then later on, when I bring my um, sewing machine oil, I'll oil those up. So with both of these paws, what I, I went ahead and replaced both the springs in there with the new ones because they looked more compressed than the older springs did. So um, I just figured I'd put some new springs in there. But there's those ready to go back together. Now the grease that I'm going to use for the rest of this is this uh, calcium type grease, multi-purpose. This is what I what they gave me for the uh, folding prop or the feathering prop that I have. So it's um, it's supposed to be good for wear and corrosion. It's very light uh, grease, so it's not going to gunk everything up. And uh, but then, like I said, you should probably use whatever uh, grease that your manual says. But this seems to have worked okay for the last set of winches that I did. So when you get this in these roller bearings here, you want to make sure you squeeze it in there and it gets all inside the inside the bearings on the inside and out. So I want to make sure I get these coated pretty good. The rest of it I'm just going to put a light coat on it. There's no use, there's no real need to, to really gunk this thing all up with a bunch of grease. So just make sure I get these, get that grease pressed inside there really well. Spin those bearings around. That one. And do this one the same way. And then the rest of these parts, I'm just going to grease them up kind of lightly. Don't want to get a lot of grease in, in here. Just spray that with WD-40. But just kind of a light coat on everything else. And these uh, gears here as well, just make sure those have a light coat on them. And then once everything is coated, I'll put it all back together. Okay, now I'm going to put this back together. And this thing here goes in the bottom. And it's got to go with this side facing down. And then the next thing that goes in there is this, and this I believe it has a little uh, insert in there that I think goes this way, put it in that way, see if it goes together. This pin goes on top, and turns that. The next piece, this goes in, these paws close up. going to have to sit inside this gear on the bottom. Okay, that looks like that is working. That's sitting flush. Okay, next thing that goes on there. Put that one on there like that. Okay, you gotta be, this piece goes on top. You gotta be really careful that you don't bump these paws up or the springs will pop out. So there's three of them. I'm gonna try to hold down, open up, and then there's, they go over the first part, then there's another part they gotta go over, so I'm gonna twist it as it goes. And hopefully, there we go. All three are in place. And they are all clicking the way they're supposed to go. Okay, so once this piece here is on, all those paws are working properly. Next piece to go on is this piece here. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on that. A 
little bit of grease up here as well. Now this piece here lines up with three holes that are in the top. So you'll feel it will click in once it's kind of in the right spot. And then once that's on, then this piece here is gonna go on. This piece is the same either way, go either way. So when you put this piece here on, there's a little uh, bump right there, or actually the bump is here, and a little recess right there. And you have to make sure that when you put that on, these are lined up with the holes below. This piece is on. And then that little uh, recess lines up with the with the bump. Otherwise, it won't sit flat. It'll move around. Or the, put the bolts in, and then tighten the bolts up. If you don't line up that recess with the bump, then this will not sit down far enough, and it won't sit down flat. So now at this point, this part here goes on. And when that goes on, you need to make sure this little bump lines up with right there. And then what should happen, once everything is together, these should be able to fit into that, into that slot. And then what will happen too is there's a little notch in here that will go inside to the silver piece. And that's what holds the silver piece in. And at that point, what you need to do is make sure that you've got this piece in the position that you want it, and then all the holes are lining up. So. This piece only goes one way. There's a groove, and the groove is going to go in, so it catches that, uh, so it catches the silver piece here. And then once all those pieces are in, this top here can go on, and then your last four bolts can go on. And there it is. Winch is complete. Okay, this winch is finished, and uh, I made quite a bit of mess doing this. When I came here this morning, I thought that the water was on on the docks, but apparently it's not. So I was planning on washing the boat when I was finished, so I wasn't too concerned about getting grease everywhere. And I probably should not have done that, because the water apparently is not on. So I have to wait until they turn the water on before I can wash the boat. So it's going to have to sit for a week uh, with some dirty spots on it. So that's all I got for today, a winch rebuild, and uh, next week I'll think of something else. I think the next video I was thinking of doing another boat tour because that's the other video that I think has had the most views that I've done. And that one wasn't that good because it was right when we got the boat, all the cushions were stuffed in the V-berth, and uh, I want to do like a really good thorough boat tour. So that'll be coming up maybe next week. And if you have any other ideas for content that you want to see or anything that you want to see about the boat, leave a comment down below. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm almost up to 200 subscribers, which is amazing for me, but uh, probably not that big for YouTube. So uh, thanks for watching, those of you who are, and like and subscribe. See you later.